What is that Gucci smell like? It's me. It may make Mr. Dime sit here. So today, we're going to be reacting to a death battle. It's been a while since I, I've reacted to a death battle. I'm waiting on a special guest for, for to react to the death battle I want to react to. But instead, I'm going to react to this one in the meantime. I'll react to the other ones in the meantime. So this time, it's Link versus Cloud. So this is Zelda versus Final Fantasy. I've played The Legend of Zelda on my 3DS before, but I got stuck somewhere and I never finished it. I've never played Final Fantasy, though. But, um, so let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> They're two of the most iconic swordsmen in video game history, known for taking on things way out of their league. Link, the champion of Hyrule. And Cloud Strife, guardian of the life stream. And Orphans. Since both combatants use such vast player customizable arsenals, in this scenario they will wield what they are most comfortable taking into battle. These are the weapons they choose to take into their fighting games. However, since standard skills, weapon traits, and armor aren't specified in Dissidia and Smash, we're taking those from their whole story. And remember, in Death Battle, there is no outside help allowed. Ah, oh, but Boomstick, they have summons, and they're cool, and fairies, and a shut up! It's our show, and this is the way we do it. I'm Wizard, and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Link is the legendary multi-incarnate hero of the Hyrule Kingdom. Humble and brave, he has battled the forces of evil for over ten generations. Each fairy hero is Link! Haha! <laughs> to each other! No, Boomstick, he's not a fairy. Horny ears, tights, magic, and look at that hair! Fairy! Every incarnation of Link bears the spirit of the hero, bestowing the unbreakable will and combat prowess of each previous owner. Since he's got over 10 links of learning to work with, he's an expert with tons of weapons and magic, especially his iconic Master Sword. This double-edged blade was forged by the goddess Hylia to slay powerful demons. It repels evil and deflects light-based magic. And when Link's in top shape, he can shoot beam thingies out of it. Why this changes when he takes a hit, I don't understand, but hey, lasers! When low on energy, the Master Sword can still launch the Skyward Strike by calling upon power from above. In addition, it utilizes three magical medallions. However, the Master Sword is far from Link's only weapon. He's got some deep pockets. He somehow carries around a boomerang and tons of bombs, along with a hookshot which lets him zip line his way around and bring things to him. Man, that really would have helped to get that last beer all those times on the couch. Probably still be married. Doubt it. Link is an excellent archer and uses the hero's bow in conjunction with several different arrow types. However, much of Link's arsenal is more suited to exploration than combat. Which is why he hides behind several layers of defense, like the red ring, which reduces his injury by 75%. The Golden Gauntlets brace his arms against intense pressure, though do not increase striking power. He also carries three different pairs of boots. Three, huh? Told you he's a fairy. The Iron Boots weigh 130 pounds, the Hover Boots float in midair, and the Pegasus Boots with attached rocks feather increase Link's speed and agility to superhuman levels. But his best defense is the Hylian Shield. Originally crafted by the Thunder Dragon Laneru, the Hylian Shield is completely indestructible. Link also has a little help from the goddesses via the Triforce of Courage. This tiny golden triangle embodies his ability to beat overwhelming odds. He is a puzzle solver, analyzing and exploiting his opponent's weaknesses even when there is only one possible means of winning. But while Link has the necessary tools to take on any opponent, his over-reliance on inventory over pure skill leaves him vulnerable. Still, anyone who can fight a guy three times his size while wielding a sword twice as large as he is, is a badass in my book. With so many weapons and skills, there are few who can stand a chance against the hero of Hyrule. Plus, if he dies, we can always just clap and bring him back to life. He's not a fairy! Cloud Strife, Guardian of the Lifestream, is no ordinary swordsman. There's no way around it, he's a fucking super soldier. But damn, he's in desperate need of a haircut. Impulsive and moody, Cloud strove to join the illustrious soldiers of the Shinra organization. Instead, he was forcefully exposed to Mako poisoning, a raw energy drained from the planet itself. And somehow it gave him all the memories of his dead buddy Zack, including his first class soldier training. Thanks, strangely convenient planet poison! That's not all Cloud inherited from his friend. His main weapon is Zack's 
Buster Sword, a colossal single-edged blade. With his strength, Cloud can swing this much faster than any normal human. Holy shit! Look at it! That's a man sword right there! The Buster Sword contains two slots for Materia, condensed Mako that grants magical abilities. However, since their creation damages the planet, Cloud has limited his Materia use. He typically carries the Firaga Materia, which shoots fire at things! And in the last slot, we're given Cloud his most iconic Materia, Thundaga. This Materia can shoot electricity and summon lightning bolts. Cloud has an encyclopedia's worth of anger issues, which actually works to his advantage. He can channel his rage into extremely powerful limit break attacks. These emo charge limit breaks range from paralyzing foes with cross slash to launching meteors from his sword. But his deadliest is the Omni Slash, a move so fast and powerful it practically guarantees victory. As he doesn't carry any other materia, Cloud obviously wears Zedric armor. While this magical band has zero materia slots, it grants the wearer an extraordinary amount of defense, and halves damage received from elemental, magical, and physical effects. Also, Cloud wears a ribbon, which makes him immune to all status effects like burns and stuns. Well, I guess that makes it worth wearing a friggin' chick accessory. Cloud is brash and aggressive, but not the brightest fighter. He often relies on overpowering opponents through sheer ferocity and brute strength. Like a badass! You don't need to think too hard when you're strong enough to cut through frickin' skyscrapers! Cloud's single-handedly taken down quite a few powerhouses, like the giant Bahamut Sin and planet-busting Sephiroth. He's even been completely impaled and shrugged it off like it was nothing multiple times! I mean, look at this shit! It's impossible to deny, Cloud's superhuman abilities make him one of the deadliest swordsmen in video game history. Even if he looks like a girl. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Death battle! Fight. I'm gonna say Link. Just because. Kind of lazy. In what might be the closest duel in death battle history, Link's combination of arsenal and strategy were just enough to defeat Cloud's brute force. Not to mention his items helped him match Cloud's superhuman abilities. Cloud may be powerful, but Link's golden gauntlets were stronger. In Ocarina of Time, Link used them to lift and throw an enormous column of granite. As granite weighs 166 pounds per square foot, this means Link can withstand over a thousand tons of pressure, surviving any of Cloud's assaults. Cloud should have had his mind on more than just the Master Sword. The winner is Link. It is scientifically proven that people enjoy death battle and other screw attack content more if it's put right in front of them. Like right here. Click these convenient links and see. Alright, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. This one was very entertaining. I like that whole battle. Although I, although the battle seemed kind of lazy at the beginning. But o over time it progressed. And the way Link just oof, flipped it around after Cloud was about to end it. Ooh. 
Damn. I mean, I knew I knew Link was gonna win though, but I didn't think he would pull off a last second stunt. Well, I should have expected it because that's what Screw Attack. Well, not Screw Attack. Death Battle. That's what Death Battle does sometimes. So um, yeah um. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell for post notifications. Want to watch your Gmail? Links in the description down below. Usually, I'm me and Mr. Napster. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, see ya.